years ago, they had uh, no employees, this building, and an operating budget of $38,000 a year. Um, this year, we have six full-time employees, an education program, uh, and our budget is just shy of half a million. Wow. So that's the growth in five years. Whoa. What percentage is that? Terrible. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's huge. Man. It's over a hundred percent or yeah. over a thousand percent growth. Yeah, right. Yeah. I know something like that. Yeah. That's great. And so how long has the Reno Little Theater been the Reno? Little Reno Little Theater? theater? Yeah. Eighty four years. Eighty four years. Nineteen thirty five. That's cool. Um how long have you been here with the RLC or R L T? I think it'll be five mm -hmm. years this summer. I think it'll be five years in July. That's nice. what I want to say. And so you guys have a new season coming out? Yeah. In July? Yeah. Tell me about it. Uh, we, w here's, here's how we choose our seasons, which uh, is a lot of, it's very different from most other companies. We don't have a traditional artistic director. In most other theater companies, they have an artistic director that uh, either alone or maybe with a few advisors chooses a season for the theater company. Uh, the way that we do it is we have uh, a play discovery committee, which is essentially a book reading club, and they just read plays and they fill out a form that um, lets us know how they react to it, gut reactions, not like intellectually what they thought or whether we could produce it or not or whether it's even good for the theater, what they felt about the show. Then we take the ones that are either ranked the best or the worst, oh, wow. and we feed them up to a play selection committee, which is made up of a much smaller group. Uh, a couple of us staff members, myself, uh, our executive director, Melissa Taylor, um, a community member and a couple of board members, and I decided to stay. Um, and it was really because uh, I saw what the city and what the community um, was starting to recognize as a valuable part of the growth of Reno and the evolution of Reno. And um, so uh, I really made the decision to stay and take advantage of that and become a part of what I saw this growth could be. And it's not done, it's certainly not done yet. Um, For your trajectories. Our trajectory, we've had in the past five years, we've had literally year over year, over 10% growth in both our audience as well as our uh, revenue. Wow. And I mean, that's that's, that's pretty incredible. Good. Yeah, yeah, ten yeah. percent each year, year over year over year. Um, you know, when you're talking about this year uh, for our eighty third season, we're gonna probably hit close to eight thousand people coming to see shows wow. here. Just our main stage shows, not even our kids shows, right. not even our partnerships that we have with other organizations. Mm. Just our six main stage shows. Um, but these kids are going out there and they're giving it their all. They love it. The costumes are brilliant. The choreography is so much fun. And there's nothing like watching kids have a great time on stage. Well, Chad, it's been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure. Thank Isn't you so this much. Fun? Yeah, it's a good time. <laughs>